Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use context menu with your Windows Form application. So first question arises is what is context menu? So for example, we are in Visual Studio IDE and when I right click and the first thing this menu you see here is the context menu. So if you go to Solution Explorer and right click here, you see the context menu of the Solution Explorer or you can go to the tool box and right click here and you can see the context menu of this toolbox. Okay, so this is the context menu. So when you right click and whatever you see here is the context menu. So in the solution solution explorer you can build your program or add new files and you can go to the properties also from here so let's get started so for example i want to uh, choose a context menu for this form so i will go to the toolbox and i will take uh, context menu from here so I will search for it this is here context menu strip and place it here once you pla place your context menu here you will see it will it goes here also and it goes at the bottom strip here also so this is just for designing and it's not going directly into your form when you complete with this design and when you run it it will not show in your form so for example i will add some new item in this context menu i will add a menu item and this menu item i can double click and i can go to the item click event so i will go to its property or I will select this and change its text as close for example and you can go to the second menu and you can give the second menu item as exit or you can give new or something else once you are done with that you can just double click this menu item and you can go here in the men tool strip menu click event and for example i write this dot close so this will close my form so this is first and in the exit you can write uh, this dot application exit and once you are done with that just select your form so when you select your form you can see this context menu strip is disappeared so what you need to do is just select your form and in this property of the form you will be able to find context menu strip which is by default none what you need to do is you just need to select this context menu strip from here so now you can see here context menu strip 1 which is this context menu and now when you run your program and when you right click your form you can see close and exit context menu comes here okay and when I click close my program closes right one more example I can give uh, for this is for example I will take a button from here and for example I want to change the background color of this button by context menu so I will go to my toolbox and drag and drop one more context menu in the form and you will be able to see context menu 2 is created here and you can design this context menu from here so for example you want 
to change the color of this uh, button from your context menu so I will go to this menu strip and I will change its text as uh, for example color and you can choose the sub menus also so you have the menu and you can choose here the sub menu for example for foreground and background so second is background and now I just double click these two sub menu items so I double click foreground first I reach to the foreground tool strip menu item click event and I click background menu item so I have created two menu item click events here I will create a color dialog so for example I will write color dialog dlg is equal to new color dialog bracket and bracket closed and then I will give a condition if dialog dot show dialog so just copy this dlg here dot show dialog is equal to system dot windows dot forms dot dialog result dot ok so if this dialog is ok then we will first of all close this if condition and what we will do is for the foreground I will just copy this the name of this uh, button so I will go here go to the property and the name of the button is button 1 so I will copy and paste this button 1 dot for for color is equal to and then just copy this dialog here and paste it here dot color and bracket and bracket closed the same thing we will do it for this background color so first of all let's delete this this should be just color not with bracket and I will copy this same code in the background menu strip button click event and instead of this four color I will just change it button dot back color is equal to dlg dot color so this menu strip will change the foreground of color of the button and this will change the background color of the button so let's try and run the program and let's see how it works or first of all I forgot to add this menu item or context menu strip item to the button so this context menu strip 2 we have assigned it for button 1 so just select your button 1 and just go to the properties here and search for this context menu strip and select context menu strip 2 because for this context menu strip 2 we have assigned the properties for this button now let's try and run the program and when I right click this button you will be able to see this color and when I choose foreground it gives me this color dialog and I can choose the color for example red or yellow and I click OK and you can see the foreground of this button has changed to yellow once again I right click this button go to the color and say I want to change the background and let's try to change the background as this dark blue and click OK and now you can see the background of this button has changed so in this way you can use this uh, context menu strip according to your usage and it's a very good uh, tool to 
work with so use it in your project and just rate comment and subscribe and bye for now